What's up, guys? This is a quick little video. I headed over to the brand new comic store, Torpedo Comics, located in the Orange Circle. Uh, I filmed this yesterday, and this store has been open, I think, for a few days now. Uh, it's, I, I've been a fan of Torpedo Comics ever since I found out about the main I think it's the main store, the one that's located in Las Vegas. And it's actually owned by the drummer, John, System, from System of a Down, who I actually met at WonderCon. Uh, this is some images here. Of the store up in Las Vegas. I've been meaning to go over there and film. There's the owner right there. And then he's got the vault, the little vault that they have back there with all their key issues. Uh, they have a huge ATAT -AT or at at inside the store. And this is their Gotham vault. So you head in there and they have all their graded key issues right back behind this really crazy like bank door so really awesome and then i did meet him you know i'm a big fan of system of a down i did get to meet him at WonderCon. they had a little bit of a they had a little booth there so really awesome i gotta take a picture with john now going back to the store here so i did film some of the really cool comics that they had they had a lot of really cool graded old school comics and some new stuff too i saw the batman the animated series issue number one there graded um, here's some of their torpedo comics exclusive that's some really awesome sketches right up top and right here is a uh, very limited jim lee i said it was an ex mexico exclusive foiled covers of the uh, x-men jim lee comics x-men issue number one which is my favorite you know x-men run and then right over here we have uh, a more you know a better shot of all the torpedo comic exclusive here's some of the graded comics that you can see that they had in their display cases now they didn't they don't have everything set up just yet because you know the store just opened um here's some of their plates i think these are made by warner brothers if i'm not mistaken really really cool i don't own any i actually do want to pick up one i have a guy offering me uh, actually for that batman forever one i have a guy offering me uh, 10 bucks for that so debating if i'm going to pick it up that batman the animated series one's really cool and then they had a couple alex ross ones then the close-up of the sketches here these were beautiful beautiful sketches um they did have a few collectibles i know the the uh the guy was telling me that they're gonna have a lot of sideshow stuff coming in pretty soon and I believe Hot Toys as well. I like how they did their, their little setups here. They had the statues, and then they had the comics in the back. I kind of want to steal that idea. I love that Dark Knight Return statue right there, that last one on the left. Really cool. Um, here's some of the black and white statues. There's the Alex Ross Batman statue, which I own. Here, there's a grenade over there. Some few few other statues, a little another case that they have. Suicide Squad. A lot of cool stuff. Uh, again, they're not done building everything, so I can only imagine when they're fully, you know, complete with the store, how much collectibles they will have. Some more statues right over here, and then that Wolverine one's pretty cool. They have a zombie Wolverine too, um, that looks freaking crazy. We're gonna get to get into that in a second. I love that Hulk bust. I always like the the classic look of the Hulk. That statue of Ghost Rider was pretty cool. Some other cool stuff there. That a Thor, Thor's Thor's helmet, Mary Jane's booty, the Iron Man taking a little sniff. <laughs> uh, there's a old school Batman figure by Kenner. There's the zombie Wolverine, which I thought was I don't I don't know who makes that one. It's so cool though. It's really detailed. I love how you can see some of the skull. Such a nice piece. Definitely would want that in my collection to go with the Spider Man one. Maybe Diamond makes it. Um, there's some Red Skull statues. They had a whole case here of Doctor Who. And then here's some of their comics, some of the sets that they sell as well. And then there's a kind of a quick look at the store. There's their wall of comics right over here. But as you can see, they're not finished yet. They're not see you can see there's no con there's no back issues there yet. Um they have some uh little like canvas po I don't know if they're canvas posters, but they have little posters you can buy there. And then some more of the new comics that are out. It's some new ones and some that have been out for a few months already. Uh, they did have a little bit of vintage toys, a lot, you know, the, the stuff that's like right up my alley. Um, here's some Batman, little Batman figures. I've never seen these before, but they were pretty cool, I thought. That Robin's pretty nice. And then they got the new uh, White Ranger pop. There's some of the vintage X, X Men, Toy Biz X Men, the Kenner Batman, which I absolutely love. I own tons of these, and it was really cool to see some of these. There was none of them that I really wanted to pick up um i did see one that i was debating this one right here i did have this one as a kid the parachute batman but i didn't pick it up really cool seeing it though I have, you know to see it it brings you when you see like a toy that you haven't seen when you were a kid you just get you know hit with all these memories this is a cool pretty cool batman statue too that i saw there they had tons of paperbacks tons and tons of paperbacks look at all these 
Really cool titles too. And then some little kids, little kid kid cartoon like comic books, I guess you can say. Some more vintage stuff here. I never seen the the penguin of this uh, from this style here. It was pretty nice. But yeah, this is definitely an awesome store. I can't wait till they when they finish. Right, guys, I had to film this way later. Uh, I said I was going to upload this video yesterday, but I didn't do it because I got really busy. And um, I'm filming this right now, and it's raining really hard right now. But anyway, so yeah, this is the only thing that I picked up from Torpedo Comics, the Batman Who Laughs. Really cool to see that, you know, Torpedo. there's a local Torpedo, Torpedo Comics now. Because I think before they were called Big Red Comics, and I have been there before. But uh, I wasn't really feeling it, to be honest with you. And I know it's the same people that work there, but now... Uh, Torpedo Comics bought them out. So really cool. Uh, they're having a actual like grand opening in March, I believe is what they told me. And uh, they're going to have Jim Lee there signing for Action Comics, not for Action Comics, for uh, Detective Comics 1000. So he's definitely somebody I want to meet. I've been a fan of Jim Lee since I was a kid. S same with uh, Tom McFarlane. Excuse me, I almost sneezed. And uh, yeah, so I definitely want to head over to that event, you know, buy my ticket and meet Jim Lee. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick video. Again, there wasn't a whole lot to film in there, only because we have they don't have the store set up just yet. Uh, from what the guy was telling me that, that works there, he was saying they're going to have like a mini vault, kind of like the one that the Las Vegas store has, but just not that big, and it's not going to have that really crazy door. And uh, they're going to put up a new, like a Star Wars ceiling, which should be interesting too. So looking forward to seeing all of that. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more more videos like this where I go around and uh, check out places I've never been to, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Oh, and again, yeah, this is what I picked up. The Batman Who Laughs, the Torpedo Comics exclusive. There was three different versions of this, but um, I love this cover. I think this cover is awesome. I already own the comic, but I had to get the Torpedo Comics exclusive Really cool. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon.